All right, so y'all remember when we made that soil factory? I put it on the board what we was doing, yes. Mixing up the Bakashi food scraps and putting it in this bucket. Well, it's been about five to six weeks since we made it, so I want us to check on it. Hi, I'm Compost Fairy. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so, like I said, we're gonna check on this, but first, before we do, as always, welcome to any new subscribers. So glad that you are here with us, and welcome back to my OGs. Happy that all of you are here to grow, explore, and do the damn thing with me. Okay, so, we're gonna check on this soil factory, and what we're gonna check on is basically to see how well the food scraps have broken down. So we know with Bakashi, you first you ferment the food scraps for about two weeks, it grows that fluffy white mold, and then you can either put it in your compost, bury it in your garden, or make a soil factory and so we made a soil factory so we're gonna check and see how this bitch is doing okay all right so as you remember this is where we put our soil factory and so i am super excited to see what it looks like remember we're gonna be checking to see how well everything is decomposed um yeah see how good the soil looks as well okay, so if you remember i put a bunch of wood chips on top first just because i'm leaving i left it outside and i didn't want anything to smell what was in the bin and so i'm just gonna first scrape the wood chips off and then we're gonna see what it looks like okay so i went ahead and moved the wood chips and i'm already pretty pleased because the soil looks really nice um this soil was very old and it just kind of was kind of dead so i was very happy to use it in this because the organic matter from the bakashi and the microbes I'm um, having life in it and look at it y'all like oh my god first of all look how good that looks moist as fuck you're not seeing much food scraps okay okay there is this thing which my guy who I get the food scraps from he eats these I don't even know what it is but there's this is still intact but I'm not surprised by that um but I'm digging and y'all saw the video y'all saw the video and if you haven't seen the video it's in the caption so uh, read the caption and watch the video on how I made the soil factory. But um, I'm really digging and I am not seeing food scraps well. No, y'all. This stuff is really broken down. Uh, oh my God. Okay, let's look at another side maybe. Um, and like, I will do flashbacks to the video so you can see how much food I put in here. Cause I put a shit ton of food in here. I'll be honest, I did look at this a couple days ago before I made this video. But so there were some bananas in here, but I can't find them. So I will be honest about that. There are some bananas in here that have not broken down. But the other stuff has, and it just looks really good. The soil just looks so rich and like I just want to plant something in it, you know? So I'm really, really happy about this. Okay, I'm pausing because I'm just like so amazed. <laughs> but also, um, it really is just great to see how you can have something like soil, whether it's old, new, whatever, um, and you can dump it in, you can dump your Bakashi scraps in the soil, mix it together, let it sit, and then it just enriches that soil so freaking much. Like, God damn, this soil looks good. And like, I'm so excited to be able to save it and use it in summer, spring, you know. I just wanted to show you how like, well this decomposes and like acclimates itself into the soil. Um, it's just like it is whenever we're putting in our compost. It's the same when we bury in our gardens. By the time we get to use our own medium, you can do it in a small space, and it works out really well. So yeah, um, fuck yeah, soil factories. I'm gonna do one last deep dig for y'all just to see if we, because there are some food scraps still breaking down in here. I don't want to seem like it's just this perfect bin. Like, oops, see, look, there's something. Yep, I don't know what it is, but that's still breaking down. So there is still food scraps that are breaking down in here, but for the most part, everything else has acclimated itself into the soil. So the microbes really have done their job. They've really decomposed everything. Um, stuff is breaking down and this soil is pretty much ready to be planted in. Now in areas that do have like the food scraps, you don't want to like add those to like your house plants or anything because those still need to break down but the soil that's already like nice and finished and ready go ahead and feel free to you know use that so it's great um i'm trying to just dig down here but yeah y'all all right y'all just a little short sweet little video um i just wanted to sh update you and just really show you how the soil factory works and how it can be something that you can incorporate into your daily life and whether you're doing a lot of bakashi or a little bit um you can scale it to whatever fits your environment so 
Um, I hope this is encouragement to you. I hope it shows you how well um, Bakashi's works and Soil Factory's work and how quick turnaround it is. Um, I checked this in about five to six weeks, but even after a month, I think it would have been fine too. Um, now, it does slow down a little bit in the colder months, so be prepared for that. Uh, but you still will get great uh, decomposition and all that good shit. So, yeah. All right, y'all. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. It really does help me out. Let me know what you want to see. I will appreciate the feedback. Um, comment below. It really helps me. Um, and it just also gets me in your head so I can know what you want to, you know, work on, talk about, all that good shit. So, yeah, thank you all. Can't wait to grow, explore, and do the damn thing with you next time. Have a good one. Bye.